What is up guys, it's Troy at The Full Setup here, back with another Revelator IO24 video. And today we're gonna to be looking at firmware version 1.1.3. A little bit annoyed about this because they don't really actually add many changes, but the one thing they have done is to change all of the loopback input and output names a week after I uploaded a guide showing you how to set up the loopback. So I thought I was gonna do the video again, I will show it in depth for you all again, and also as well, I feel from making that original video, you know, questions and comments you've asked, just maybe some ways I could lay it out a little bit easier for you, okay? So yeah, to update it, there is a newer version of Universal Control that was released on September the 14th. You also have to update the app if you're using, like I'm using an iPad to control this audio interface when I'm streaming, so you need to add that in as well. It did just prompt me for a firmware update when I opened Universal Control, but if you're not being prompt, you just go to Settings and Update Firmware. Okay, firmware is already up to date. Pretty much the same principles on my Mac as well from when I was playing around with it on my MacBook Air. So all you have to do is click into here. Oh, it was already there. There is the Revelator. Um, so what's changed with me? Firstly, I'm no longer using a Shure SM7B anymore. I persisted with that microphone for six months fantastic dynamic microphone but it's just not for me okay it's just not for me i am now using an electro voice re320 i only just started using it so i do have some more tweaking to do but really like this microphone so what's changed and what's new about the firmware well one thing i'll just close this down one thing in the release notes is they mention about a universal mute i can't see that any mute buttons are any different to what I had before so maybe I'm just missing that the only other thing is now that the profiles are now numbered so you can see what they are and then they've just added in these little lines and the numbers here so they've just slowly cleaned it up personally I just would like this round filler thing gone and for the two profiles just to be drop downs I'm also going to make a video about how I would improve this um, audio interface and all the changes I think the software should have I'm not trying to put it down it's fantastic software but there's so many little tweaks and annoyances. I'll tell you one annoyance, the sliders. Why can't you just double click it and it goes back to zero? That's annoying. Anyway, I just need to move my Harry bows out of the way. Let's get rid of the Harry bows and we will talk about the loopbacks. So let's start with the mixer then, okay? Let's start with the mixer. So this main mix, I'm just gonna cover each one briefly and then we'll get back to it. So this main mix, okay, this is our headphone mixer only and this is only what I get to hear. As you can see, there's more gain added here. That's just to add more volume into my headphones, okay? This gain isn't being added into the recording mix. But if you are on stream mix or any of these loopback mixes, okay? If you're on any of these mixes, this is gain, okay? Just so you know that. The gain for the microphones is also independent depending on which channel you're on. So. Once you've got this record, which we'll get to in a second, you could then turn this microphone down because, you know, I don't want to hear my mic the whole time while I'm gaming. So there's, there's that one. Now the record is the stream mix. So you press this button and as you can see, the audio didn't drop out in OBS. So this is where I can add stuff in like PC sounds, Discord, all of that stuff. So that's all you have to do is press that button there and you can then use headphones this is just going to switch my headphone outputs to different ones, okay? So I'll go back to the main mix. You then have two loopback sends, okay? Two loopback sends that you can send out. This is audio you can send to digital audio workstations or for like um, Discord, okay? So this one I send to Adobe Audition and this one I send to Discord, okay? So it's just a brief overview of the channels and let me show you how I have everyone set up. So essentially what they've done, if you're using an earlier firmware, if you haven't updated your firmware, is this was called Loopback 1 and Loopback 2. This one is also called Loopback 1 and Loopback 2, okay? So what's, what, are these, what are these loopbacks? Where are they in here, okay? So playback ones, as you can see here, I've got virtual output A and virtual output B, and they're labeled here now. So they do match here, which is good. I've renamed them. So I've added PC and Discord. So as you can see here, I've got virtual output A. You will see it down here as well. Virtual output A. That is my output, okay? So if I play some music now. And you can see it's playing, but you can't hear it. 
And that is because this is my headphone mix. So if this was your games, you would have this up, cranked right up, okay? But you don't want to send it so loud to your stream. So then on your stream mix, there you go. Sorry, I got my headphones on. Ah, ah, see, and there we go. So as for Discord, so then as you can see here, virtual B, output device from Discord virtual B. So you would set the same in Teams or Zoom, anything else you do virtual B, virtual A is your PC sound. So you can switch it around and have it to whatever you want, but that's how I've just set it up. The recording is where it gets a little bit more confusing because, so these ones were called loopback in and these ones were called loopback out. Because essentially if we sent this sound, to, if we sent this mix to Discord, okay, then what's gonna happen? They're gonna hear themselves back, all right? They're gonna hear themselves back on Discord they might also hear the game sounds. They don't want to hear it, okay? Maybe it's music and you could say, okay, they want to hear that. And this is where these channels come into play. So for loopback one, I am sending this to Adobe Audition. And this is so I can do real-time monitoring with my VSTs, okay? So I send this one to Adobe Audition. And that is why my microphone's muted, because if I've got the microphone turned up, then I'm going to hear me and I'm also going to hear with the VSTs, which I don't want. Okay, so that goes to that one. And loopback one on here is mix B. There isn't a mix A, okay, because mix A is our stream mix. Stream mix is like secret source you don't get to see. So that is mix B. As before, it was just called, you know, loopback out one and loopback out two, which is why I've sort of kept this scheme of one and two because Discord was on two to keep it matchy. But it's actually now mix C, okay? So loop back to here is mix C, all right? So this is what you would send as audio into, okay? So we've, this one here we've got as audio out from Teams. This one, as you can see, we've got mix C set as our input device. So for any applications that you're using that are going to be Discord, Zoom, or Teams, input device mix C, output device virtual B. You could use mix B if you wanted to, and that would put it on this channel. And the good thing is here, so say if you were on a Zoom call or a Teams call, that is when you could then start, you know, turning up the music. Maybe it's an interview or something you're listening to that you want to send to your friends or a family member, and you can turn that one up. You wouldn't turn this one up. So I'll show you now, and hopefully we're just going to mute discord the reason we got mute discord because then let me have a little look so now you can see as i'm talking you know that would be the audio from discord if you imagine that is you know your friends that you're gaming with that is then them coming in so it's really useful they've just changed the names on it so i'll just cover that one more time then we have loopbacks ins okay loopback ins are your system audio so virtual output a is this one that is what we have set to our PC sound. Virtual output B is for Discord and Teams and all of that sort of stuff. So there we go, virtual output B. Then for this one, I've actually used the loopback one. Got stuff going around everywhere. I've used loopback one to feed into digital audio workstations. So then when the audio comes back in, you know, out from the PC, that's all I get to hear. And that's what I've got set up. And then loopback two, is the audio that I am sending to Discord, either Teams or Zoom. So this way I'm just sending my microphone without any of the game sounds, without any system sounds, anything like that. If I wanted to add system sounds, I would just turn up Virtual A and then they would be getting sounds. So there we go then, that is just a rundown of the new naming scheme for the loopback outs and the loopback ins and the numbers. I still feel there's work to do on this software. I will be doing a full review at some point, but I might wait for a couple of more firmware updates. I've also got my, I can't pronounce it. I always forget how it's pronounced. Is it Neumann? That's the one. I've also got a Neumann mic coming out. So I'm probably going to put, put, wait for the full review until I've got that microphone because I'm really looking forward to listen to it. But it's currently stuck in France because of Brexit. Bloody brilliant. Anyway, that's it for today. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments section. Um, I am going to be doing some streams soon as well, where I'm going to be using all of this gear with a few cameras. Um, so you can see everything I've got on the desk. I can go into anything a bit more depth. 
I'm going to try and do that maybe weekly, but most likely once every two weeks. If you want to come on, ask some questions, watch me play some games. I'm more than happy to go through stuff a little bit more in depth with you there. But um, yeah, stop waffling at the end of the video. Make sure you subscribe and I'll be back very soon.